Hi friends! I'm so excited to tell you that I've reached 25,000 subscribers, which makes me especially happy because my son Eric never wanted to admit that I had a lot of subscribers. Before you eat the cake, tell me I have lots of subscribers, Eric. You have a number of subscribers that is greater than zero. Eric, say so you're impressed. I'm impressed with the amount of cake that you received from the store. Say so I have a lot of subscribers, Eric. I have a lot of subscribers, Eric. Which, you know, compared to someone who has hundreds of thousands or or millions it's not that much but I feel like it's a lot for me so um, I think I'm just not gonna tell him how many I have until he gets home from army whenever that will be I've been on YouTube for four years now and my most popular video has over four million views I think it's at 4,300,000 something. I'm not sure. But many people have requested subtitles for that one, which I tried to do for quite a few hours, but there were technical difficulties and the words wouldn't line up where they were supposed to, so I finally gave up. So I'm just going to do a little commentary while I watch my own video, and hopefully that will shed some light on what the scammer was saying but probably not too much because the only reason why I knew what he was saying in places was because I was already familiar with their script. Here we go. He said, thank you for calling Internal Revenue Service. How can I help you today? I think probably most people could understand that, but you never know. Hi, I'm just letting you guys know you left a message for the wrong number, I think. On which number you receive a call? On which number you receive a call? You called my number just a little bit ago. Okay. My name is Samantha Calculation. A lot of people have asked me if that's my real name or if I just don't know how to spell calculation. Um, I was actually making fun of the fact that they're always telling me there's a miscalculation on my taxes. Um, so I was hoping they would call me miscalculation if I told them that was my last name. Can you spell it, ma'am? Can you spell it, ma'am? Samantha. S A M A N T H A. Now, what's your last name? What was your last name? Calculation. Can you spell it? Can you spell it? C A L C O O L A T I O N. Thanks for the information, Mato. Okay, that part always makes me laugh because it sounds like he's trying to sound Southern or something. Thanks for the information, ma'am. And they usually say madam. <laughs> the reason you go to call from our department is... The reason you got a call from our department... ...to inform you that IRS has issued an arrest warrant against you. Have is to inform you that IRS has issued an arrest warrant against you. Have you been notified about your case before? Have you been notified about your case before? No, that doesn't sound right to me. I haven't received any information about that. Okay, ma'am. We send you two notices. Okay, ma'am. We have sent you two notices. We're giving you details. The giving you the details. Department. But you are not available when a letter was sent to you, or you would have refused to. But you are not available. To take it. But, but you are, uh, he says, but you are not available to take the it. The reason 
Wait, 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 wait. He says the reason, and then I cut him Did off. Did you send it by certified mail? Because I didn't receive anything. And I'm going to send you a certified public account edge. Um. And I'm going to send you a certified public account edge. After come. Okay, I think he said we sent you certified from our department. I don't know. This payment because this is a large oh, that's the mouth. <laughs> that's the moment where I went. Uh, he said you need to resolve this case, right? No, on this recorded line. You know, on this, this recorded, recorded line. line just this is a federally... Evidence in the courthouse. And remember... <laughs> it's not just a recorded line, it's a federally recorded line. Uh, something about the courthouse. I'm... Hey, this is the last chance to resolve your case. This is your last chance to resolve your case. They always say that. Well, I never had a first chance because you guys didn't send me anything. What? I, what? I never had a first chance because you didn't send me anything in the mail. We send mail. That is. We send mail. Here's another thing: is a lot of people think he's a woman. No, I disagree. Cat is of the mail or mail disputes. Something, something, male dispute, I think. You know the status of male dispute, which means either you are not available when weather. Something about male dispute, and you are not available. Since you are, you have refused to take it. He says that I refuse to take the mail. No. Okay, I want to file a complaint. Who do? Okay, madam, let me know. Who do I write to to file a complaint? What? Who? You can probably understand that he said what again. Who do I write to to file a complaint? Sorry, madam. Sorry, madam. Oh, he slipped up. He called me madam instead of ma'am. I would like to know which department I should write to to file a complaint. Yeah, it's not because my case has been mishandled. My case has been mishandled. Madam. Madam. What are your clear intention about this case? Just say that. Are you willing to resolve this case or not? Just say Are you willing to resolve this case or not? Just say it. Case, let us proceed legally. If you're not willing to resolve this case, let us proceed legally. Okay, why would I resolve a case when you guys never gave me the opportunity to pay in the first place? Just tell me. What? Just tell what me. What is your good intention? I would not have a clue if it weren't for the fact that a bunch of other scammers would say, uh, what is your good intention? Which just doesn't even make any sense. Are you willing to resolve or not? Are you willing to resolve or not? Um, I think you need to explain more what's going on before I just fork over a bunch of money. Can you tell me which tax returns are in question? And, um, do you have money with you right now? Uh, Madam, do you have money with you right now? Do I what? Do I have any money with me? To pay the IRS. Sorry? There's an outstanding to pay the IRS. To pay to the IRS. You have to pay. To pay to the IRS. You have to pay. Well, you haven't even told me what I have to pay. How would I know if I have the money if you haven't even told me how much? It's $600 right now. He may have said something different first, but when he says it again, it's one thousand six hundred dollars. How much? One thousand six hundred dollars. One thousand six hundred dollars. One thousand six hundred dollars. 
He sounds so panicked when he says it, too. Yes. Actually, IRS has conducted a statutory audit of the tax filings. Actually, the IRS has started audit on your tax filing, I think. Between the year 2010 and 2015. Between the year 2010 and 2015. Or did he say 16? No, 15. Okay, I have my 2015 in front of me right now. Can you tell me which line was hey. messed up? What up? I'm not sure. What I have said. my 2015 tax return in front of me right now. Can we go over it together? We'll send you mail. This document is certified. I want to send you a We send you mail, and then I don't know, and then we send it on your doorstep. Once the payment board has completed, then we'll send you. Send it up. I don't know if you're understanding me. Can I talk to your supervisor, please? It's a good time for the train to come by. Are you willing to resolve this case or not? Just can I talk? Are you willing to resolve this case or not? Just say to your supervisor or not. What? Can I talk to your supervisor? Okay, madam. I can transfer this card to my superior officer in the account page. Okay, madam. I can transfer this call to my superior officer. And I'm not sure what he said at the end. Okay. Call online. Thank you. Please stay online. That's what they say um, when they put you on hold. I can hardly understand this guy. It is so bad. Okay, then the lady break. comes along, and I think everyone can understand here just fine. So we'll just end it there. <laughs> well, I guess the ending is people's favorite part, though. Um, here, let's skip ahead. Oh. Me now. I can hear you a little better. Thank you. Yeah, she got on and was super quiet. Right, so what are your intentions? Now? Am I willing to solve this case? Okay, um, I was barely able to understand. What are your intentions, ma'am? Are you willing to resolve this case? And what the gentleman was saying, and I didn't catch his name either. I did catch that I owe $1,600. Can you hear me? Um, okay, you're very quiet again. It's your sure case, you. Have you been notified about the case, you? No, you guys didn't. Okay. I guess maybe I was out of town. I, I went to send it to. Did you send it to my 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue address? Yes, ma'am. That's okay. one of the favorite spots for people. I guess maybe I was out of town. I, I would expect it to go to my, my other address, actually. Can you go over my 2000... Right now. Can you go over my 2015 tax return with me and show me where I went wrong? So the thing that irritates me about this video is they're both so stupid. I could have kept them on for a really long time. <laughs> But I had to go to orientation at one of my kids' schools. <laughs> but I wanted to call them before the number didn't work anymore. So they had called and left a message for me. So I called them. And the numbers get shut down pretty quickly. So if you're interested in calling scammers, don't look at old videos and get numbers from those because they're not going to be good anymore. Well, you have to make an initial payment first, ma'am, and then I will be uh, sending a certified government public accountant at your doorstep. Okay, she time. said I have to make a payment first, and then she's going to send a certified public accountant at my doorstep. When the government certified public accountant comes, he can show you where the errors are with the filing of your taxes. And then that guy will show me where the errors are in my taxes, you know, after I pay. You guys want me to pay first and then you'll show me where the errors are? Yes. 
That doesn't make any sense to me. I don't see why you guys can't tell me which line I messed up on in my 2015 return. So what are your intentions now? Are you willing to resolve it? I'll resolve it when you guys tell me where I messed up. All right, ma'am, then I won't be able to help you. Oh, are you going to come arrest me? And now it's time yeah. for the mocking, because I have to leave. What time? <laughs> All right, when I first got started with scam baiting, I thought it was so hilarious that they would threaten you with arrest, because who does that? Like, they want to give you a head start. No one sticks around and waits to be arrested. So that's why I started making comments about, oh, should I take a shower first? Within the next 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Okay, well, I'm going to need to find someone to watch my kids. And, of course, as a mom, it's hard to find the time to squeeze in a shower um, on pretty much any day. So I thought I would ask that silly question. Oh, should I take a shower first? Okay. I have eight children. And people think the eight children line is really funny, but I actually have five children. So. All right, bye-bye. Will CPS be coming with you? Not that she knows what CPS is, I just wanted to use a term that she doesn't understand. And some people say, don't help the scammers, don't make them smarter. No, these two are not going to get smarter. In fact, um, I doubt the first guy ever successfully scammed anyone because his English is so terrible. Yeah. Oh, good. Will my kids go to foster care? She probably doesn't know what foster yeah. care is. That's too bad. I sound really yeah. heartbroken. Mm -hmm. Um, should I take a shower before you guys come over? Hello. I was surprised she uh, stayed on that long. What's funny to me is that I made that video in such a rush, I even chose the title in a hurry, and I almost didn't upload it because I thought it was boring, yet people think it's hilarious, and the videos I work extra, extra hard on that I think are hilarious don't end up getting very many views. <laughs> so. I'd love to make a video on how to make a video go viral, but I don't actually know how to do that. I just kind of lucked out and I was really lucky that I was able to monetize before they changed the rules. Um, and because of that video, I started making a little bit of money quite a bit before I got to 1,000 subscribers and I'm very grateful because it finally got to the point where I was able to make the VAM payment with that so it's been a huge help. Normally I teach piano lessons which I have started doing again but I had to decrease my piano students by a lot because of everything going on in my family and my parents being sick and also it was difficult because uh, I had a long period of illness too and my worst time of day was typically during the piano lesson hour. <laughs> so I don't know what I would have done if it weren't for being very fortunate with this one video. I never thought I would upload a video that got millions of views. and. Sometimes when I'm out in public, I kind of forget that I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> and every once in a while, someone will give me weird looks. And I think, why are they looking at me like that? <laughs> and then I think, oh, maybe they actually saw uh, this video. And 
finally, I went to the dentist last year and the hygienist said, you look familiar. And I said, uh, probably because you've worked my teeth before, maybe. And she's like, no, no, I know you from somewhere else. And then I said, oh, did you maybe see me on YouTube? And she goes, that's where I know you from. I saw you talking to a scammer just a few days ago. And that was when I had uh, major surgeon views last summer. And that blew me away. Like I had um, over 100,000 views in I think a 48 hour period. And I was getting like hundreds of new subscribers a day. But um, that's happened multiple times with this video is I think it depends on what people are searching for and when there are more scam calls going on then they find my video and it starts getting recommended again. I'm so grateful for you guys support and I really love being a YouTuber and I've learned a lot since I started. I didn't know a thing about editing when I started and I was using YouTube's built-in editing program which I'm glad I was forced to have to learn something else because that one was actually kind of a nightmare <laughs> and it took a long time before I could find an editing program that was intuitive enough for me. Um, eventually I'd like to go take classes to learn how to edit really well or maybe there are videos that would teach me well enough, I don't know. But I actually think editing is fun and it's part of my creative process. So uh, before I go, this is something that's been making me laugh really hard. And now that my daughter has started online kindergarten, it has been a lot harder to get anything done because she's using my computer. But I wanted to share, All right, there's this Nigerian scammer I've been talking to. And I'm trying to work on this, making a whole video about this right now, but it hasn't been working out. But I just wanted you to hear this guy's laugh. <laughs> very, very, very funny, you know? You can see in the picture. All right, it's not top of that. No. <laughs> I listened to that so many times and just laughed my head off. So I was getting started on that video today. It's now almost 1am. I have to get up early in the morning and get Sabrina up and get her on her Zoom call and all that stuff. I've been having some technical difficulties so I decided to work on this video instead. It's a long story. I won't bore you with it. But thanks so much for watching and please like, share, and subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you know when I have a new upload. And then YouTube will untap the bell for you and then you won't remember my name and then someday you'll find me again. <laughs>